The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 23rd of February, 1660. Thursday, my birthday, now 27 years. A pretty fair morning. I rose and after writing a while in my study I went forth. To my office, where I told Mr Hawley of my thoughts to go out of town tomorrow. Hither Mr Fuller comes to me and my uncle Thomas too. Thence I took them to drink and so put off my uncle. So with Mr. Fuller home to my house, where he dined with me, and he told my wife and me a great many stories of his adversities since these troubles in being forced to travel in the Catholic countries. He showed me his bills, but I had not money to pay him. We parted, and I to Whitehall, where I was to see my horse, which Mr. Garthwaite lends me tomorrow. So home, where Mr. Pierce comes to me about appointing time and place, where and when to meet tomorrow. So to Westminster Hall, where, after the house rose, I met with Mr. Crewe, who told me that my lord was chosen by seventy-three voices to be one of the Council of State. Mr. Pierpoint had the most, a hundred and one, and himself the next with one hundred. He brought me in the coach home, he and Mr. Anslow being in it. I back to the hall, and at Mrs. Mitchell's shop stayed talking a great while with her and my chaplain, Mr. Mumford, and drank a potter to a veil, on a wager that Mr. Prynne is not of the council. Holman wrote to my lord the news of the choice of the council by the post, and so to bed.